We would like to welcome you out to Sarah Fisher Racing this afternoon for this very special press conference. We welcome to the stage Senior Manager of Corporate Events for Dollar General, Ms. Laura Rutledge. Good afternoon. Eyes Identity Car Series driver Ed Carpenter also joins us up here. And, of course, the owner of Sarah Fisher Racing, Ms. Sarah Fisher. Quite a day for you today. We've got a very special announcement that you're going to be making here, Sarah. So let's start with you. First off, a uh, uh, fantastic afternoon and, and what has become, I know, with uh, the 2010 IZOD IndyCar Series champion, uh, uh, Dario Frank Heaty said, Sarah Fisher is a force to be reckoned with, not only as a driver, but in the ownership role as well. I thought a very nice compliment from him. You have some more to uh, address here today as we're uh, joined by the good folks at Dollar General and Ed Carpenter. Well, uh, here, I'll use yours instead. <laughs> um, I do. I have some really exciting news today uh, to share with everybody. Uh, after 25 years of being behind the wheel, uh, this year I decided to, to step out from behind the wheel and uh, focus my energies you know, as, a, as more towards an entrepreneurial side. And as I step out from the wheel, from the primary uh, spot of the 67 car, I'd like to announce that Ed Carpenter will be, will be taking the seat and uh, will represent Sarah Fisher Racing and Dollar General um, and deliver the brand that we've built and established here since 2008. We've had the, the opportunity to, um, to build this team from the ground up, my husband and I, and um, I'm, uh, I've been really thankful to be able to work with my family and my friends, and I've been uh, even more thankful to have such a strong partner with Dollar General. Um, to support me in that dream and to be able to, to hire a driver that I believe in. Ed and I come from the same backgrounds, um, from, from the USAC sprint car and midget days, and so it's, it's, it's really a, an incredible feeling to be able to make that call to Ed and say, hey, come drive this yellow race car. So with that, thank you, Ed, for joining our team, and um, now I guess we'll pass it on to Laura to talk about uh, DG. Yes, indeed, and, and a very exciting time here in the Eyes on IndyCar Series when Dollar General came aboard, and, and I know the race fans are very excited to, to see the, the branding on the side of the machine, and, and you have brought so much not only to the Eyes on IndyCar Series, but to Sarah Fisher Racing as well. Laura, a little bit on behalf of Dollar General. Thank you. Um, well, first of all, I'd like to start off by reading a note um, from our CEO. Dollar General's chairman and CEO, Rick Drowling, wanted to be here today, but was unable to attend. He asked that I share this statement with you on his behalf. Over the past three years, Sarah has been an inspiration to Dollar General's customer and employees. Her unwavering determination and resilience is admirable and has helped her build Sarah Fisher Racing into the organization it is today. As Sarah announces her retirement from the driver's seat, we remember fondly the races that she has run and that the lives she has touched from behind the steering wheel. We wish Sarah well as she focuses on building and running a fast and efficient race team. I have no doubt that her expertise and love of the sport will continue to propel Sarah Fisher Racing forward into IndyCar Racing. I would also like to give a warm Dollar General welcome to Ed Carpenter. Dollar General looks forward to continuing her sponsorship of Sarah Fisher Racing in 2011, and we anticipate a successful season with Ed at the helm of the Dollar General number 67. There are great things in store for Dollar General number 67 and Sarah Fisher Racing in 2011, and we are excited to be a part of that team. Very good. Thank you, Laura, and congratulations not only to Dollar General, but to Sarah and, and Ed as well. Ed. You found a home. Welcome to Sarah Fisher Racing and Dollar General. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here, honored to be here, to have this opportunity to work with Sarah and Dollar General. You know, I remember when, I think it was Kentucky when you first showed up with the Dollar General car, and I think that's really when, when your team looked like a professional race team, and, you know, you had the whole appearance and, and showed up, and you've been getting better every time you've come to the track. I mean, we, we had the chance to race together up front this past season, and hopefully we'll keep the Dollar General car at the front all season long. But, um, you know, I've known Andy and Sarah for a long time. I, the first time I saw Sarah, I had to use a cheat sheet on one of her banners up there, but she showed up in a, a light blue Mead midget at Winchester in 1999, and I was racing too. So that's where our paths first crossed, and 
happy they've continued to cross and that, that she's given me the opportunity to come here and represent her race team. And, um, you know, Sarah, you had a great career, and I'm sure you're going to continue to have a strong career as an owner. You know, what you've done with the team, you just have to look around the shop to see, you know, all the things that you've done here. So I know that together, the two of us and Dollar General, Andy, you know, things are heading in the right direction and I know 2011 is going to be a great year so thanks for thanks for having me on board and just want to thank everyone for coming out here today especially my family Tony and Heather and Todd and the kids um, I can't wait to get started and get to work the first challenge for you as a driver for this team in, in 2011 what what is the ultimate goal for you as you as you take over for I mean, Sarah has brought so much to the sport of Izod IndyCar Series racing. Your big picture goals for next year? I want to win a race. I mean, you know, as I said this this year when we showed up, um, the the part time races that I did this year, you know, I, people don't expect a part time team to be able to win, and you know, I don't I don't show up at a racetrack unless I think I can win, and uh, we were able to show that this year, and that's my goal for 2011 is to you know definitely get this car on the podium but you know i think we're capable of winning if we all work together uh put our heads together and get everyone pulling in the same direction that's where we should be and we pass the microphone back over to you sarah i'm sure a tough decision something that that you didn't take lightly there's always that time in your career when is it time to move on was, was there a defining moment for you that you said i need to concentrate on the ownership role or has this been kind of brewing for a while and it just seemed like the right time? Well, I've been thinking about crawling out of the race car ever since I crawled out at the beginning of the season and had Graham Rahal substitute for me on the road courses. Um, I went to, to the Kansas Speedway race and, you know, we had, a, we had a second car operation this year. And at Kansas, that car crashed. And um, my team, my engineer Tom says, you know, how's your car? Andy says, how's your car? And... I said, oh my God, you know, the right side's completely wiped off and, you know, there's parts laying everywhere and I'm, I'm calculating the costs as I'm driving by our second car program. And they said, we're not talking about that car, we're talking about your car. I thought, oh, <laughs> I guess my focus is starting to, to divulge and starting to take two different paths. Um, and then at Indianapolis, when, you know, I got in the car and we worked hard the night before bump day and we got the primary car in and the second car was out, you know, there's only so much focus that a, a little team um, can put together and, and have. And, you know, I really wanted to take a step back and really make sure that my team is is you know, moving forward in the right direction and that my focus on the business side of, of the efforts with our sponsors and our partners um, is taking shape. And, you know, being a driver on both road courses and ovals and running a business is extremely difficult. And, um, you know, I think for the overall big picture good of this team and where it's headed, that that was the right decision to make. Do you have a, a better respect or understanding of, of other owners that you've driven for over the years having played that role now and is that a more difficult role than actually being in the cockpit of the car I definitely have a, a huge respect you know and and to have had Dennis Reinbold put me back in the seat in 2006 when I came back um, you know there's there's a lot of little details that that go on to make you know things happen to make it come out as professional as it does and to make it successful and you know being a small organization I'm a part of all those details and I love it I'm having the most fun doing that um, but it, it all takes time I mean Laura and I were joking before we came up on stage here you know last year I was on the treadmill getting ready for the road courses and said okay <laughs> Laura give me five seconds I got to catch up you know doing the, the driver stuff duty and and doing the owner duty so you know I think as a team um, this is this is a step in the direction towards winning races and I, I think if we put our heads together like Ed said um, and and work really hard at it that we are capable of doing that and I think this is a direction um, that we need to take to do that to make and that happen. we look forward to seeing you back uh, uh, at the Speedway as we open things up in st. Petersburg next year Ed in the cockpit of, cockpit of machine Laura thank you for coming this afternoon ladies and gentlemen the 2011 Sarah Fisher Racing, Dollar General Racing driver, Mr. Ed Carpenter, joined by owner Sarah Fisher and Laura Rutledge from Dollar General. Thank you for coming out this afternoon.